13-kilometre western walk is broadly divided into two halves. The first, a pleasant stroll through the vast grounds of the Summer Palace and around the Kunming Lake. The second, a long straight walk south along the wide Jingli Canal that sits below the busy western edge of the city. I arrived at the Beigong Men's Subway Station before 8, paid my 30 RMB entrance ticket and started to explore the Summer Palace before the hordes of tourists descended. I crossed the bridge that overlooks the colourful Suzhou Street, through an arch and then up into the rocks and pagodas. It's possible to walk around the hill to the lake, but more fun to explore the caves and courtyards within the mount, especially in the morning when every nook and cranny hides early risers practising their ancient exercises. The palace has its roots back in the Jin dynasty, where the first structure was built. Through the last century, it's been shaped and rebuilt several times, with the Empress Dowager Suji reportedly embezzling money bound for the Chinese Navy to reconstruct it as her own palace, after it had been ravaged twice by foreign forces. After I descended back to the lake, I turned right and weaved my way over the small bridges and onto the long embankment that heads south to the end of the park. I spotted rare migrating birds that use the lake to rest, pointed out by large groups of bird watchers congregating at the water's edge. I spent around four hours exploring before starting along the canal. It's probably a good idea to take a break and have something to eat and drink, enjoying the lake views, as a walk from this point onwards feels more remote. The steep embankments along the canal shield you from the busy highways and buildings you walk through. It's a surreal experience, but if you stick to the path along the canal, you feel quite isolated from the city. The walk takes you along the main water supply that Gu Xiaojing, Kublai Khan's architect, built to bring water down from the Baifu Spring and into the city around 1,000 years ago. If you try it, and you're not hiking along the west bank, be sure to cross before the water branches off to the Nanchang River. This alternative route will take you through the Zerju Park and the zoo before arriving in the northern city moats. I carried on south on the wide of the two branches, and all the way down until it meets the Nanhan River, where I went east, past the CCTV tower, and then left the water for the Gongju Fen subway station to make my way home. I spent around eight hours on the walk, but much depends on how much time you want to explore the Summer Palace grounds. There's little shade along the way, so if you're walking in summer, be prepared for long periods in the sun, particularly on the canal stretch. Oh, and if you think the walk is too much to do in one go, there are boats that can take you from the Summer Palace as far down as the Nanjiang River. This is DJ Clark on the Beijing Waterways for China Daily.